We can hear water running. It could be raining outside and bitch, we gotta go pee. You already know what it is, especially if we up our water intake. It don't matter what the hell we take in, we gonna pee it out. So I know she running around here with pissy coochie. TJ Holmes and AB Robot. They've been fired. First of all, they was best friends with each other. They was best friends with each other's spouses. Their kids played together. The spouses watched each other cheering. She got him a job because he was her best friend at her job. He get to the job, he starts sleeping with all the girls on the job before he finally made it back. So, cause I don't believe that this is the first time they they, they slept together. I think we, they just got caught, okay? I think they been in. We just got privy to it late, all right? They did everything together until it led up to them getting fired together. Where's my wine? Not only did they get fired together, they can't even get hired together no more. So they decided to take to YouTube and do a podcast. They said they was gonna go out on their own. Maybe they could get a Spotify deal or, you know, Apple iTunes deal, don't nobody want them. They don't even want each other. They on live during the podcast talking about they having 13 to 15 drinks a day. Ain't nobody washing their ass. She definitely ain't washing no sheets. Them white girls came up up here and told us they, they, they do like six to nine months without washing sheets. So if you doing about 13 drinks a day, that's 13 one of these. That's 13 one of these. That's probably, and it's only four glasses to a bottle of wine. So that means that's four bottles of wine, which means, you know, she pissing around the clock. Cause you know, as older women, the older we get, you know, the kidneys get a little weak, bladder get a little weak and stuff like that. So we piss at this, we can hear water running. It could be raining outside and bitch, we gotta go pee. So I know she run around here with pissy coochie. But he's so out of it too, drinking with her. He don't even know he eating pissy coochie. And now the unemployment done ran out. So now they are trying. Let me go ahead and read this article. Not only are they trying to really, 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 you know, get a leg up again, they are desperate for redemption as they continue to fight for their GMA return, so I said. So they want to go back to their old job, not them doubling back like Nelly. <laughs> According to the Jasmine Brown, shout out to the Jasmine Brown, okay. Looks like the former GMA anchors Amy Roach and TJ Holmes are hoping to get their previous jobs back, okay? As a source close to the couple shared that in shared with in touch that they've been lobbying hard. Now it costs money to lobby. They unemployment done ran out. They both got spousal support. Cause you know, they spouses is now dating each other. As you may recall, Amy Robach, 51, and TJ Holmes, 46, so she older than him. Got the boot from GMA3. What you need to know last year is that after their controversial alleged affair made its way to the limelight, while the network confirmed that their relationship did not necessarily violate company policy, which means they could have been married and screwed who they want. They didn't have no policy in place. It was both were let go because the situation was just simply too distracting. You cannot be the host of America's favorite morning show. And you cannot be infidelitors as well, too. You cannot be a mistress, and you cannot be a side. And you definitely can't be a side because you're a white woman. Who got you a job? It's just messy all around, and people are gonna be looking at you like, are we supposed to look at them like as they're, like, you know how you look at hosts and you're like, oh my God, they got great chemistry, they're, they're, they're laughing together, they're fun, I love to watch them. Now we're gonna be looking at y'all like, did they, did they have great sex last night or something like that? Did he get that thing? Why is she laugh, doing all that? It's not that funny. Like, what is, why is she? <laughs> why, why are you doing all that on TV? And then you want to flash that you took this lady's husband on TV. It goes against everything morally that especially Daytime America stands for. Because Daytime America is geared towards family-friendly shows, housewives who don't like savage who don't, and, and white men who don't like white women that sleep with black men. It's a lot of things that y'all kind of broke code on. And so now they are really, really desperately trying to get their old jobs back as a couple. This is what you call a toxic trauma bond. There's a lot of couples out here. Will and Jada, look at y'all, Nikki and Kenneth, okay. Will and Dwayne Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have been sipping your wine and watching your unwind with Tasha K. Yes, you have. Gold sticker for you. So this is a trauma bond, and this is an example of it because it's like, y'all lost your job together. You lost your families together. You lost your kids together. You lost your money together. 
if that ain't God trying to tell you something, I don't know what it is. Y'all are not supposed to be together. Because when you're supposed to be with somebody, everything is on the up and up. It ain't that hard to be together. It ain't that hard for us to make money. Somebody can continue to make money while I be a housewife. I heard they were about down there living at the end town suites. They said that they was out there written in the efficiency room. Things done got a little tight. That's why they desperately trying to save some things. Okay? Moving on.